Sure, I've dipped into a wine shop to snag a bottle or a basket full here and there, but if I were trapped in an elevator with a bunch of wine out, I couldn't hold a conversation. Why can't I just drink wine out of a water bottle? See what I mean? So to uncork just enough vino knowledge to keep me afloat in a conversation about wine, the experts at Passanella & Sons in Manhattan offered to lend me a hand so and a glass. Give us fresh glasses. Thank you. Always start with champagne. Okay. Um, it gets, especially if you're eating, it gets your appetite going, it's very festive. You wanna hear a hiss, not a pop. That was a pop. It sounded hiss-like to me. Hiss-like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then to pour, give it a, Five degree tilt, give it a little pour. I noticed and you did a twist at the end. Because I don't want the wine to, to dribble down the side. If I do it like that, it's gonna come over the edge, so I do a little twist. Get your nose in there, and don't overthink it. If you think it smells like shoe polish, it smells like shoe polish. You know, if, it, if you think it smells like raspberries, it smells like raspberries. Uh, it smells like wine. It smells like wine, yeah. <laughs> I definitely get some toasty, bready, aromas from this, which you're gonna get from the yeast cells that die in the bottle. What would be like an occasion I would want to, to purchase this, this, this style wine? Any romantic holiday, it's pink wine, it's blush wine. So it's flag it, day, it, yeah, like yeah, things yeah, like it's that. Totally, but, you know. Uh, Super Bowl, World Series. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely felt like there was more flavor in that than I would typically get yeah. when I just drink uh, wine straight from the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so. Which, you know, that's that's kind of how I came up drinking it, you know, from the bottle. <laughs> yeah. This is our house white. Uh, the grape is Vermentino. Uh, it's organically farmed in Tuscany. Uh, this is a medium bodied white. I would say it's similar to a Sauvignon Blanc. An ideal food pairing, I think, for something like this would be crab cakes, grilled octopus, um, maybe like a lightly roasted chicken. You probably feel the acidity back here a little yeah. bit. You know, you feel it on the side of your tongue. Yes. I mean, I certainly get uh, definitely some citrus, maybe some lime peel uh, on the palate. A little bit of like, like if you've ever, I'm sure you do this all the time, you put wet pebbles in your mouth and kind of wash them around, you know, it's like. Absolutely, you know, it's, yeah. I don't know what it is that I'm tasting, but I know I like it. This is Sangiovese. Again, it's unoaked. The white as well was unoaked. There's definitely more of a nose on this wine than uh, the last ones. I get a little bit more Maybe slightly baked fruit, not cooked, but uh, more fig. Maybe a raspberry. That's <laughs> Maybe, all a raspberry. Maybe a raspberry. <laughs> That's all I had to offer. But you know, it's, you know, is it fresh raspberry? Is it cooked raspberry? Is it raspberry jam? Is there the addition of sugar to that raspberry? I mean, it's yeah. Well, yeah. Like if you, Dude, you know, it's pick, a lot. Pick up a guitar and play classical guitar in a day. You know, it all takes it all takes time. Yeah. That's delicious. Seriously. I I'm not even saying that because it's the house wine. I'm <laughs> saying it because it's really, really delicious. That drawing out of all the moisture in your mouth is yeah. tannin. So the tannin uh, comes in the skins, comes in the seeds, the pips, the, the actual uh, branches on the cluster of grapes. If you're having um, you know, a big steak or a lamb shank, you want a big, bold red, something with some tannin, because tannin and proteins work well together. They kind of cancel each other out. Uh, whereas if you had a piece of fluke ceviche and then took a sip of uh, a really tannic uh, Cabernet, you wouldn't taste your food at all. Now, has anybody ever mixed these three together into one cocktail and, and tasted it? I, th I think today's the day. This is probably going to be disgusting. Yeah, that was unpleasant. Robitussin. <laughs> yeah. Straight Robitussin. Is there anything else you think a beginner, me, should take away from this? Um, you know, I, I would say drink all the wine you can get your hands on whenever you can. And that's science. Okay. Yeah. Thank exactly. you. A pleasure, man. Oh, one more time. Thank you. You're welcome.